In this section, we will use a particle system to create the plexiglass shattering effect. First, we need to subdivide the backboard. Right now, it's just a box with no segments. And if we try to break it apart, we will get just six fractions. The subdivide modifier creates multiple triangular faces on each face of the box. We want a small pointy fractions, so a good value for the size is about one inch. Now that the board is ready, we can look for the particle system we want to use. For this kind of effect, PA array works great. We need to tell the system that we need the backboard to be the emitter of the particles. If I move the time slider, we can see the particles flying from the board. Now we need to adjust some parameters. The first one is adjusting the time for the particle to start spreading. An initial speed that we can adjust later and the life of the particles. We want the particles to stay during the entire time. Then we need to adjust how we want to see the particles. In this case, I can choose object fragments. This option also let us select the number of chunks we want. Then we can go back to the speed parameters and make some adjustments. Add some spinning to the fractions and it is looking good already. We just need to tell the particles to use the same material from the emitter to finish. Now that the particles are set, we just need one more thing.
we need to hide the emitter, our backboard. We do that on the graph editor, adding a visibility track to the board and creating a keyframe to hide the object at the frame the particles start. And this is our final shot.